Okay, we're going to do some uh, graphs using, of trigonometric functions using uh, using the graphing calculator. So we just uh, start by turning our calculator on, and to graph something, we need to go first of all input the, the formula itself. So we go to the y equals window, and we enter the function. The first one we're going to do is 14a is just simply sine 2x. So we need to input that uh, that here, and so. Here's your sine, so put second function uh, sine, and sine of what? Of 2, and there's your x. Close the bracket, hit the enter, and what we've done now is entered the uh, the formula or the, the equation we're wishing to graph, the function we wish to graph. So now we actually draw the graph, go to the graph function here, and there it is. Looks pretty horrible though, doesn't it? And it's not exactly what we want because we're only interested in values of x between 0 and 2 pi. So it's really just this little section of the graph here. So how exactly do we get to them? Let's go to the window here. And here it sets the maximum and minimum values. Now for x we don't really care. Um, uh, sorry, for x we do care. For, uh, for y we're not so interested. So it says between 0 and 2 pi. So we put in 0 here, and there we'll just use this down here, 2, and there's pi there, and put in pi. And that's it. Enter. So that's our data. So now let's go back and look at the graph and see what it looks like. Okay. Alright, so we've now gone from 0 to 2 pi. Uh, I think we have. How do we know that we've done that? Um, well, if you look at the graph here, and we'll just use the buttons here to move across or along the graph, sliding along. What would uh, 2 pi be exactly? Let's just see. Okay, well, we're pretty close to the end there. Now you know what, uh, what 1 pi is, 3.14, so twice that yeah, is about that number, so we're pretty right there. It looks pretty bad though still, doesn't it? So we might go back to the window again and perhaps just change this, uh, these values here. We put y maximum and minimum of, of 3. I think they need to be uh, a lot less. So I don't know what we make them. Um, we make them uh, minus, minus 2 and 2. What about that? Let's see how that goes. Now we'll go back and graph it again. See how it looks. Okay, and we're looking a lot better. So that could be our, our values there. Um, and if you want to check out the values, of course, here, what they are, we can use this and move along uh, as I did before. And you can go along and check any particular values that you want. So that's the first graph done. And I'll just get down to the end of it, near enough to there. But you can see that, again, if we were right on the line there, we would be at 2 pi. So that would be the graph of the, the whole thing. If we just quickly check the answer, uh, against that, uh, indeed, uh, there it is there, and that's the graph that we had there. They put the maximum and minimums at one. We put the uh, the maximum and minimum, or is it? We put the maximum and minimum at two. So that's just why it looks a little different there. But that's basically uh, our answer.